you kind of have that eerie silence before the engines start. Totally focused and thinking about only racing. That's why I do it. Yeah. International star and multi-award winning Scott Dixon is New Zealand's most successful professional racing driver and the third most successful driver in the IndyCar series history. And Born Racer is a documentary that takes us behind the scenes of the IndyCar world and into Scott Dixon's life. We are joined now by a producer of the film, Matthew Metcalf. It is great to have you here. Thank you. Morning to you both. Uh, Congratulations for his fascinating film. That insight into his life, absolutely amazing behind the scenes. But let's talk a little bit about your filmmaking career in your early years. You've made, let me get this right, 16 feature films? Yes. Uh, 10 telly features? Yes. Numerous TV shows, documentaries, music videos is where you started as well. Yes, I mean, I think the most common music video that people have probably seen is uh, Shea Fu Fade Away. Oh, um, yeah. Nice. Um, yep. That I want a toy for a long time ago. Multiple years ago. So what have been some highlights for you? Ah, well, look, you know, I've, I loved doing music videos in the beginning. You know, I work with some great directors like Jesse Wong, Greg Rewai, um, that have gone on to have fantastic careers, you know. And I remember working with the Feelers. I remember working with uh, Hayley Westenra when wow. she was just a little teenager. Uh -huh. um, I remember working with um, Slayer. Um, the US sort of thrash metal band at Melbourne's Festival Hall, um, Powderfinger in Australia. Um, it, was a, it was my own musical journey and I loved it. It was a real privilege. So what drew you to wanting to make a movie about Scott Dixon? Can I just say, exhilarating on the big screen, this movie, the sound, the speed, everything. But what drew you to making this particular documentary? Well, look, um, obviously I'd previously uh, produced McLaren, uh, the story of Bruce McLaren, mm -hmm. And Bryn Evans is a director that I've admired for a long time mm -hmm. and been conscious of his work. And, and he and I started talking and um, I had wanted to do another motor racing story. And Bryn came to me and said, well, you know, well, I'm sort of thinking about Scott Dixon as, uh, as a story. And it was one of those moments was like, I'm thinking about Scott Dixon too. Nice. You know, that's a good story. Yeah, we should do it. Yeah. So we went to Universal, who we've got a wonderful relationship with, and they were really receptive to it and came on board straight away and the rest is they say is history. Yeah well before we go any further we should take a little look mm. at a bit more of the movie. Racing has been pretty much my life. Scott Dixon, four-time champion. Scott Dixon, the master! He's the youngest driver ever to hold an international racing license. Scott was so confident about his driving. What's the long-term aim? Um, go to Ford then hopefully Indy cars or something. Scott Dixon records the fastest speed in over 20 years. They have got the pole here for the Indy 500. I feel the same way about Scotty as they did about Mario and Ayrton. You knew you were dealing with a special guy. I've married a guy that, unless he's going really fast, he doesn't feel alive. He feels euphoric when he's chancing death. Oh, that crash. The thing I really, really liked about this for me was that insight into his family life and his wife. And she's beside those tracks. And when she was there for that horrific crash as well and how she deals with it all. It's fascinating. Look, what's really amazing in the film is, is the way that Emma, um, uh, Scott's wife and partner, um, talks about uh, her own journey, mm. you know, and what it means to be in partnership with someone who goes out onto the track every day in something that is a life and death sport, mm. and what that means to be a mother as well and be part of a family. And it, it's quite incredible because I have children, and it makes me think about, you know, what's involved in that and that mm. kind of commitment that you have to make. They were quite open with the kids though, weren't they, saying, you know, Daddy does a dangerous job. They're not sort of uh, make, um, wrapping them in cotton wool about it. Look, of course, they're really open and honest about it, but sometimes things happen, and it happened during the filming of this movie, that bring that reality crashing home. Mm -hmm. And that was, of course, Scott's infamous crash at last year's Indy 500. Yeah. Tell me more about Scott Dixon, the man himself, because you, you know you learn a lot from watching this movie. Mm. But you know, you personally, what did you see, and what was it about him that makes him so good? You know what was so interesting for me. So a couple of weeks ago, I was in the United States promoting the film there, and um, and a journalist from um, ABC in America sort of leant forward and said, so Matthew, you know, you spent all of this time with Scott Dixon, sort of give, give us this, the secret sauce. <laughs> you know, he really wanted to know what the special answer was, and I said, look, you know, honestly. It's really boring. It's just hard work and determination. Wow. Everything I see in Scott is, is determination, grit, at the gym every day, focus, and a family and support network around him in Team Chip Ganassi that is all committed to winning. It's mm. 
it's a really basic formula. And I noticed too, there was a lot of old footage, which I loved in the movie, of him quite young. Was there anything that you saw from that footage that made you think this guy's going to be brilliant? Or was it the same attitude back then? Look, you know what I love? There's this moment in the film where, where Scott's like this little teenage, almost cherub in a way, and he's been interviewed for probably like a Sunday sports program in New Zealand, and they say, oh, well, what are, you, what are you going to do in the future? And he just very confidently looks to the camera and says, well, I'm going to get graded for my licence, and... And then he pauses and then he goes, I think I'll go drive IndyCar. <laughs> and, this, and now he is uh, mm. the second uh, greatest IndyCar driver of all time, yeah. which when you think about it from New Zealand is a remarkable oh, and yeah, underappreciated yeah. achievement. It's so incredible and you're right, it seems to be a little bit underappreciated at times here. Uh, it's also a very high risk sport, isn't it, Indy, Indy 500? Mm. I mean, that crash that he mm. had, um, if people haven't seen the footage, mm. I remember watching mm. it, wasn't it last year, I remember seeing it, mm. and he actually managed to walk away from it, which is phenomenal. Oh, look, it's amazing. You know, when you think about it, an IndyCar travels a football field a second, and when we see it on television, it's all relative speed, so yes. you can kind of follow them, but there's some shots in the film where literally people are static and the cars just go, foof, foof. They're like fighter jets going past. And that gives you an idea of just how fast these guys are going. And the precision, precision where they have to know exactly where they're going. I mean, how, do they, how, does, how does he do that so well? Well, you know, one of the things they talk about in the film is the fact that they're going faster that, um, that the brain can react. So it's instinctual. Mm. It's just practice. You know, they're literally going at a football field a second when they're only inches apart from another car. What if another car does something, mm. that's, mm. it's far faster than their brain could ever process. So it's purely instinct in practice what they're driving off. And, and that's a great thing in this movie. You know, there are scenes where you are learning all those computer reaction times and we get to see that. You know, unprecedented, I would say, access to some of the pits in the Scott Dixon's life. What was that like, being there on the tracks, having your crew capture everything? Must have been quite an honour. Look, it really is. I can remember last year at the Indianapolis 500, I ran into someone that I know from the McLaren team, and he looked at the pass I had around my neck that had been given to us by, by the Indianapolis organisation, and he looked at it and he said, Oh my God, you've got access to everything. <laughs> Not even the drivers have that level of access. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, it's oh, kind of cool. <laughs> but look, that's what the support network we were given by Chip Ganassi Racing and IMS oh, or Indianapolis mm. Motorsport. They gave us access to everything and, and enabled us to tell a true fly on the wall documentary and to really see what it's like to be a motor racing driver at the height um, of their sport. Mm. How does Scott feel about having you following him around and, and the doco? Because he's quite a private guy, isn't he? I don't know, I'm seeing... Uh, uh, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you know, Scott is a very humble and private guy, but he was very gracious uh, throughout um, the whole process. And both he and Emma and their family opened the doors for Bryn and the camera team. And they were sort of there for everything. Mm. And they really opened up their life. And that's what gives the film its humanity and its true storytelling. It's just the access. Mm. You're seeing the truth. It's not uh, set up for camera. It's just as it happened. And uh, he's basically won everything he can. So do you think he's going to retire or is there more to come? I think, look, Scott's really committed to winning and I can't speak for Scott, but you know what? His five IndyCar championships, yeah. the all-time greatest is seven. Okay. I it's potentially within his grasp. I have a, I have a feeling he's going to go for seven. Ooh, well yeah, <laughs> why, and why wouldn't he too? Hey, that's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, pleasure, movie. thank you. Yeah. Born Racer, the Scott Dixon story, is such a great mm. watch, especially on the big screen, and it is showing at cinemas around the country. You can check out the Born Racer movie website for details.